as we are countdown, we are still in countdown to DV2024 Resort. Yes, and this is four days to DV2024 Resort. We are still counting, and we are still here in Shiko's kitchen as Shiko is preparing mashakura. Yes, because you know when people are hungry, yes, they don't like eating, so they eat mashakura. But back to serious to serious business. I told you guys today I'm making peas and carrots and some potatoes. So this is what I'm making today. My peas and carrots. And potatoes. Waroos. Yes. And this is onion, inaiva hapa. And then here I am ready to start cutting my pot, my tomatoes. Yes, but we have to talk DV. DV is our business, and business is us. <laughs> so in our previous two videos, the one we did yesterday and the other day, we were talking about DS260. So DS260 is done dusted right so let's move on to some other stuff because we will definitely get some people who will be lucky to got to have gotten selected it might be you it might be you it might be you it might be you or oh, say amen <laughs> say amen because it has happened to us my family okay I was not selected but Pashiro was the lucky one. He was selected with a very good case number, 8,000. And we, we, we applied. Okay, we got selected in our third attempt. We normally say it was our third attempt, but technically it is our fourth attempt. We flash back and we say it was, it was our fourth attempt. Uh, by the time we were trying our first, our first time, we 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 tried when we were a parent of two kids uh my my hope my hope jerry was very little actually she was barely two years and i remember another time when my boy was barely three months because he could not even sit well to be taken his photo yes it was that long. <laughs> it was not that long five ago. Yes. When we went with Ian to get to do our DV application, I could hold him because he would not sit well. And then the other one is when he we got selected. So if we got selected when we were with Jerry, Ian was could not be born. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe because we could have started the process of coming to the US and that is a no <laughs> I don't think I could get get a baby during that time because I could not complicate things. You know, when we don't have information, there's a you can think that oh maybe getting a baby it will lead to disqualification. That was me by then because I had no idea of how D V works or how the process is. I could not even try to get a baby. To me, my visa. Literally, I know that things happen. Life continues, and it's just a matter of life. And it is life. It is the ordinary thing that happens, and it is not a big deal. The baby will eventually get the visa, and you all will go. Okay? So, to tell you, Shiko, Shiko, I'll end up with you. Sit down. But I just want to show you. Maybe you are in that, in that situation. You have been trying the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, fifth time, sixth. Count them. You know how many times you have tried. You know how many, how many, how many times you have tried. You know, you know yourself. Maybe this is, was your first time. Maybe it was your first time and you'll be lucky to get selected. Guy, I can you do that? I don't So, it doesn't matter how many times you have tried. It doesn't matter how many times you have tried. 
when God says it is now, it is now. So I was not lucky to get selected. Papa Shiro was the lucky one. We got selected with a case number of 8,000. And we started the process where we knew nothing about this. We knew nothing, nothing at all. So for me, you guys, you know me, because Papa Shiro was like, ah, oh, to green card. Ah, oh, okay. But that was it. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. And that was it. So for me, I have to look for the information. Hmm? I have to look for the information. That's when I... I had been in, in Facebook since 2013 and when we were getting selected was in 2017. Mm. So you see, I used to be in Facebook, so that's why I searched the information about DV, what, what you search, you join groups and then in the group you see people posting about getting selected how to go about stuff you see people say let us make a whatsapp group you join mm -hmm. you work together with others in the same shoes mm -hmm. in the same journey in the same mission and here we are and yeah we are yes my yes are ready yes so those DV groups, uh, yeah, those DV WhatsApp groups, they are very, very helpful because we could not know where to start. We could not know what to do. We could not know we needed to get a marriage certificate. What we knew was or, or, or passport or nothing else. But we came to realize later there are so many things that are needed. So that was in 2017. Okay, let me give you my whatever so that maybe you can know how to go about things. So we, we had been married for 10 years by that time, but it was there, come, we stay. We didn't have a marriage certificate at all, but we have kids, three kids by that time. And we had now to look for a marriage certificate. We had now to know that KCSC certificate, it has to be verified or certified, whatever you call it. And we made errors here and there. We made errors, guys. I am going to tell you today we made errors. Uh, you know, some things we to Nanyawaziaga, but we made errors. Mm. We made errors and we regret because it costed us money. And this, 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 I will tell you as we continue. So we joined the group. Okay, maybe Nikajituma. Looked, looked on Facebook, DV group, whatever, whatever, joined the WhatsApp group that was created by the DV 2018. That was DV 2018. We joined. Many people joined. Actually, we were so, so many. And for me, I joined. But Bashiro did not join. He was telling me, you just go do the research. You just let me know what is needed. Kai. And he's the one who was selected. So I was doing everything. And People are getting scheduled for the two and for the interviews and i remember we became current on our second visa bulletin we became current but this is what happened guys let me tell you what happened we missed we missed we missed mm, to the mess when you see me telling you guys to fill the to 60 years up because it costed us it costed us although it was not cost it didn't cost us money it costed us a lot of peace yes Today now I'll be a This week I'm giving you the truth, nothing but the truth. So we found out we are, we are selected, right? Higher. Major groups, everybody is new, nobody knows nothing in the group. So we are still trying to come up with some something that we that we are like in the same mission, doing the same journey and everything. So when you are doing the feeling that DS260, because we were like, let us feel the DS260 as up. Because we were told, when you get this, when you get selected, you are told, through this link, apply, uh, fill the DS260 form. When we went to apply the DS260 form, there is somewhere they ask for the passport. We didn't have a passport. Because when filling DS260, by, uh, when filling DV by that time, we were not required to have a passport. So we were just applying. Anybody could apply. So when we are filling the DS260, 
uh, we came across that question that says your passport details and it could not allow us to move to the next step so we had to go and apply for the passport now imagine you have been selected you have started feeling that yes to 60 but you can't go ahead because you don't have a passport we didn't know you can do other, you can feel other, and then you continue, then go look for the passport and come fill the details later. So we post and we started the process of applying the passports now. So imagine we started filling the DS260 and we have post now going to apply for the passport. Hmm? For the passport. You know our country, Kenya, when you have when you're in a hurry to get something, you feel you you feel like it is taking years. So we are told in three weeks' times it will be ready. They will be ready. We waited for three weeks. Went uh, went back, checked, not ready. Come Friday, come Friday, come Friday, come Friday. Guys, do you know we waited for six good weeks? Six good weeks. For the passports to be ready it became a time when you were like we, we, we wanna maybe see someone <laughs> see someone the kenyan style yes so that we can get the passports the someone that we wanted to see uh wanted like 25k because it is 5k each passport hey <laughs> passport is the katoka so we went back by the time we were getting our passport it was in july mm -hmm. july getting selected in may but you are feeling your dst60 in july by that time we had now booked to go to sharia house to get a marriage certificate okay higher now we had come across the information on what is required at the ag's office so we went Okay, we filled the DS260 and we submitted. Now, it is looking for the marriage certificate. We went to the lawyer, notary of odds, uh, took um, affidavit of marriage to say we have been married customarily. We took it with us to the AG's office that is in Sharia House. We, we booked for our marriage there. We did our wedding. I remember we did our wedding on 21st of july 2017 but we have been married for 10 years guys remember and we applied as married okay okay yes so my tomatoes are ready i know i'm mixing these but this is life right to nakura dv we eat and we are still doing the v right yes so my tomatoes are ready here very very well cooked so now i can go ahead and put my for one <laughs> my for but the yara my dog my dog the yara my dog my dog big big and then you leave them So, we did our wedding on 21st of July, 2020, 2017. So, we went home with our marriage certificates. Actually, we were given two, two marriage certificates. And now we went home as husband and wife, legally. Legally. We have been, having, we have been married for the last 10 years, but that was customarily. Now it is legally. Now we are now known as Mr. and Mrs. Wanjali. <laughs> okay. August, that was in July. August, Mr. Bulletin was out. And it was like 500 people. Uh, the first five, five is it 500 or 5,000? They are current. Ha, so we were like, I had to come by. We almost, we almost, we almost. Now we were like, we need a PCC police clearance certificate. We need to go to NEC to get uh, the principal applicant to get the, uh, the um, high school diploma evaluated or uh, uh, verified. That is so because of lack of information. Mm, lack of information imagine 
I don't know where we were coming from when all of us were, we were in town and we were like, let's go take the PCC, police clearance certificate. Guys, Leo, 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 Imagine we went to the Kerea for police clearance, for police good conduct. But we were all of us, five of us. We didn't know that kids do not require the PCC. Imagine we went there and we paid for five people. Only more. 1,100. Imagine. We paid for two adults and three kids. Imagine even my Kayan, and he was only two years. Now what you are in, you are in Pesa. I feel like going back to there and ask for a refund. <clears throat> that is one error that we did. One mistake. Imagine we are going very early to get the PCC and then we are paying even for the minors. You know, because you are going to the US, you have that kind of fear in you that if you don't do this, you are going to get your visas denied. So you are very, very... That's why, guys, I give you free information free of time because nobody was there on YouTube or on anywhere to give us this information. And these people in the government, those people, PCC, whatever, they took our money. And then when we went inside to, to take our fingerprints, that's when they said, Oh, yeah, these are kids. Now the, the officers inside, these are kids. We don't take fingerprints for minors. And we were like, but we have paid. These are the receipts. We have paid for them. They were like, No, we don't take. And unfortunately, any payment made to the government, it's non-refundable. So our 3300 Kenyan shillings, if I enter you, I have never told anybody that secret. But now we are American citizen. I am. <laughs> I can say it. For you not to repeat the mistake that we did. Imagine we did that. Imagine. She could hope I'll prepare what to PCC. Who does that? Anyway, you know, you could imagine. And the way you know, is a person by that time, it was a lot of money. Imagine we went home, come to a to Angeleshani. And then we did it very early. Imagine we had to go back and do another piece. Kai, kai, kai. These are the mistakes that we did. The untold mistakes that she could have did when doing DV. Mm? We did it very early. We did it, I think. Kitambo sana. And the immediate, I think it's immediately we got selected. Mm -hmm. It's immediately we got. Ah, ah, we were going to, after we were doing the passport application, remember remember I told you, when we were doing the DS260 filling, Ikakoama, then we were to go apply for the passport. When we were coming from passport application, that's when we went to, we left the Nyayo house, Went to PCC, took a mess huko, that was in May, and then Hasara bin Hasara. Although sometimes we laugh about it. But I feel it because by that time it was a lot of money. We didn't have that amount of money to waste. Even if we had, after that we could nyama, choma, ama tufanya kitu ingine, right? Anyway, we took our PCC and they were, it was ready. Okay, here outside there are so many misinformation because we were like, eh, hey, you can't go to the interview with a PCC which is six months old and above. Okay, remember we, did, we took our PCC in May, right? And we were scheduled for the interview in December. So from May to December, those are seven months, right? Okay, there's May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, those are seven months. So you are, you are told like misinformation, like you can't go to the interview with a PCC which is seven months, which is more than six months old. Imagine we had to go back to, to once we get the 2NL, now we went back to, to the police headquarters to get a current PCC. And then we paid another 2,200. <laughs> Lack of information is very, very costly. So, how many, how much did we pay for PCC only? Remember initially we paid 5,500, right? Now you have added 2,200. How much is that? 2,700 Kenyan shillings. PCC only. 
which could cost us only 2200 why did we spend this 5500 misinformation lack of information anyway there are so many people who have lost a lot of money anyway ours was maybe solely true considering like that it's less than 10k because if you remember i brought another guest here shiro paul and you remember she paid for the wrong visas hmm? so we, we all make mistakes and for shiro paul paying for the wrong visas for five people is not a joke that's why you see us giving you free information for you not to mess like what like us we messed we messed yes i'm a victim of mess i have messed and that's why i can't lead you astray i just want you guys to save your money don't waste money like like we did it is painful i know we are like yes because our condition or situation by that time it was not that good 2700 way so back to business let me not be emotional or career or mude mm -hmm. so uh we feel the ds260 in july and we submitted each day because you feel when you're feeling the ds260 you feel for everybody for us we had to feel five ds 260s and feeling it did someone who is sober who is not tired so the first day we feel for two people the next day for one person that day yeah so we took a whole week to fill and submit the ds 260 for everybody because we want to be very very sure and very very uh yeah precise that we are we have filled everything correctly we feel that we submitted so because of the delay that we feel that yes to 16 july when when the uh, people with within my case number or our case number were were receiving the two nls we didn't we didn't receive the two nls with them imagine eight thousand eighty five thousand became current i think in september eighty five thousand became current in september and they were getting two nls to be interviewed in in november even people in nine thousand uh nine thousand uh case numbers received the two nls by that time the embassy in nairobi was working very well oh, -wee! so we did get the two nl and we were worried guy what happened they didn't uh invite us to look at an assignment with our interview quit our interview we didn't know it is called two nl <laughs> so uh, we were worried what happened what could be the problem they, they have not invited us for the for the interview or uh, maybe it was because we delayed to bring the ds260 so we were like okay maybe they are going to to to, to, to invite us or to send the to nl next year because we were like we were late for two months to do what to bring the ds260 so we were like maybe you'll be late for two months to get scheduled for the interview uh fortunately the next Mr. Bulletin or the next two NLs uh, releases, we were among the recipients. So we received our two NL in October. I remember when it was October 22, around 7 p.m. And that Kai email, it really changed even the atmosphere. I'm saying, even the atmosphere in the house changed. We have been waiting for that email, but now it was here. Gianni, everybody is in the table, in the house, around the table. And then the email is there. <laughs> so my Tawarus are here. My Tawarus. So this is my Tawaru. How is my Tawaru? <laughs> yes, I have to come show you. Yes, I call them Mashakura, but it is not Mashakura. You see my Warus? My Warus are not many. You see? See Mingi? See Yes, so either we can wait a hapa watcha too. 
So once they are ready, I now have to put the what? The minjis. Ooh, yes, the minjis are here. So we received our email or to an email on October. To be the email read that we are scheduled for the interview in Nairobi Embassy. And that particular day, I think it was 20 what? 20 something in December. Some days to some days to Christmas. I think two or three days to Christmas. And we were very happy. The last thing that was in that house, from me and Shiro, you know, Jenny was very young. She was five. Ian was two. They could not understand. Then the other is there. A man who is not surprised or excited by anything. He was looking at us like this dancing. He was looking black and He was like, someone fly show and in. Why are you guys happy? You don't know what life will be when you go to the US. Do you know even maybe if you are going to get those visas or not? You know, you see people who are like, what if, what if, what if? That is the kind of a person the Pashiro is. He is not excited by anything. He's not surprised by anything. He's just living. He just lives and ask what if what if what if that is him but for us here, here hey, oh america here we come <laughs> well, we didn't know we have to go for, okay we know we have to go for the medicals so we booked our medicals and then he went verified his high school certificate by that time it was done physically he went to the upper hill neck offices it, they were in upper hill by that time did everything physically and we were set to go for the medicals so with the medicals we went by that time medicals were not very expensive i think i think we paid 150 kenyan uh, 150 thousand kenyan shillings that is approximately thirty thousand. everybody okay each person that is uh they were not expensive but by that time it was still a lot of money so we did and during medicals he his chest x-ray did come out clean remember he's the principal applicant and his medical his chest x-ray is not coming out clear so he had to repeat his ex chest x-ray when I heard that he has to repeat the chest X-ray, guys, yes, so more than me. That's when you pray. You pray with ata kama unajua kisilamu tu na hapa na kisilamu. Una una biya muku God remember kwa kwa una kamwe dana kapa apa hapa tio mapa yote. Here is the mapa yote. So, when he went to take the second repeat, guy, I started feeling my stomach like I have stomach problems. I started, yes. And then, I was seeing my kids like a, like a bother. They were here praying, coming to me, calling me, mom, mom, mom. I'm like, chest x-ray. Shiro came to me and she was like, hey, mom, when you stress? Yeah, why? Because the day went to repeat his x-ray. Ah, mom, you're kitu kidogo. Iyo kwa mugu ni, kathigiri ni. You know, by that time, that song was the one that was on top or was trending that. There is nothing big to God. Everything is like a small ant. Yeah. So, she started asking, kathigiri ni, eh, So, at least she raised my mood and within a minute i saw his dad coming with a cd coming with a cd means you have passed your medicals <laughs> when i saw him with a cd i was like god thank you thank god thank you thank you i have to be on america views asa i have to be on the tv america na sisi to get cool sisi hapana sisi hapana kwenda 
but who is like god she turned tables and of course now i stand i, I stand up i stood up and i started singing the song she was done eh? and you know she's like how are you guys so happy yeah because hey now it's kuliko kumeshikana kidogo and they were so happy also it is not even the wish for people to fail the the medicals of course and imagine when we were doing the when he was doing the repeat we we were ready to go for the injections but now we have to wait for him because he's the prince public he's the one we are taking to america we are not going for on our own we are taking him so without him we are going nowhere we are going nowhere so after that we went home happy okay we went to get the, the injections and then we went home happy two weeks to the interview then we went to the interview our interview was scheduled very early in the morning 6 a.m we were there by five <laughs> yes and everything went well nothing was a mess during the interview no documentation was asked like to prove anything because our, all our documents were in order our his high school diploma evaluation or certification of education was done on time the pcc we had even two we had current two the previous one and the current one in case they asked why we died and then we had everything we had everything in place so the interview lasted, lasted less than two minutes because the question that he was asked was asked um who is your host he said um the host uh, was his relative what does he what does she do he said which state and which city and he was asked after high school did you further your education yes i did where did you go i went to this particular college what did you study there i studied this particular career do you have anything or maybe a transcript or a certificate to show you attended that college yes i do and we i gave him the the transcript he the consular typed something there and we were good actually when we were on the window in that window the consular doesn't even look at you the consular was just typing asking questions as they type but the uh the consular looked at us and they were like i can see three of you here where are the others because we, we he, he has five passports with him but you can only see three people so you're like are the others are kids they are they are playing so i was like can i go get them ah, no need no need so we were told congrats you have passed your interview your visas are approved welcome to america that was what we were we were waiting for me and shiro because when shiro had woke up to america and shoka and the dad the nun surprised the nun excited man thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you at Atiadua, when he was told to go pay the green card money how to go and pay it i don't think he was getting anything he was like thank you by that time it was funny it is when we had the tukopamoja slogan tukopamoja so he was like thank you, thank you. for me you kneel down half hour because be a muku thank you i could have got half hour half hour yes so you were told go do this pay the green card money do 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 ah tato kusikia i don't know <laughs> whatever they what, i think even them they know or they see so many reactions from different people because for us they were like but when we were going home we were now laughing at daddy because we were like hey to copa moja <laughs> he was telling the the consular to copa moja thank you <laughs> so that was our story and then three days later we received um an email from dhl that our visas are ready to pick up so we went to town picked up the visas passed by iom paid our flight tickets so we went home with visas and flight tickets and then three weeks later we book off uh we took our flights to the us and here we are five years down the line we thank god so 
that was our story that was our small experience there were ups and downs there were some happy moments there were some not good moments there were some mistakes we did there were some some good things we did because things that yes to 60 connect tree getting the getting the documentation of power good we were good in getting the paperwork but whatever mess we did it was a learning experience and i would not like anyone to go through that route because money is very painful to lose money so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet tomorrow same place same time by that time uh we'll be doing something else as we wait to count down to daily 2024 results Yes, in a way, Zekana, in a way, Zekana. It was possible to Shiko Hope's family. It will be also possible to your family or to you, you and you. Yes, in a way, Zekana. It, it was Zekana to me. It will, be, it will be possible to you too. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in our next videos. Until next time. Bye.